the middle of our vast ocean is Atlantis, our mighty empire. The mystery of a mother empire which stretched her civilization to both sides of the Atlantic has been the fascinating subject of thousands of books and millions of words of controversy by science, literature, and even today's headlines. Suddenly, you are living thousands of years ago in a civilization even more advanced scientifically than our own. We created wonders for the good of mankind, then turned them into monsters. Atlantis is the story of those who, like today, would use the marvels of science to conquer and enslave. Atlantis is also a fabulous adventure into the unknown, the story of a daring youth who risked the terror of uncharted seas for a beautiful girl. Listen to my lips, Demetrius. They too whisper. For even in those days, love wasn't too different than it is today. This, then, was Atlantis, a land of violent contrasts, amusing themselves at the expense of human agony, the terrible ordeals of fire and water. Atlantis, a world that worshipped strange gods of science, a science gone berserk in the dread house of fear. You will be a bull. Every day and every way you will become more and more like one. A diabolical laboratory where humans were transformed into half men, half beasts. Atlantis, a land that harnessed the power of a volcano's fiery heart and learned to store the energy of the sun in giant crystals, then used them to create secret weapons whose disintegrating rays could destroy the rest of the world. Atlantis, a civilization that advanced too far until nature turned in cataclysmic revolt against an evil land in eye-staggering action that for bigness and excitement has never been equaled.